Where does a one kilo toad with terrifying poison live? What snake are even many professional tamers and trainers afraid to touch? And why should you stay away from cute raccoons? Today you'll learn the answers to all these questions and more. In this episode, I'll show you the most dangerous and insidious animals you should never touch. Let's go! Poison Dart Frog Many people would like to touch creatures that are very different from everyone else so bad. Poison dart frogs from Central and South America are just such creatures. These are very small frogs, the maximum length of which does not exceed 6 centimeters. They look very unusual because they have a very bright coloration, which varies from soft yellow to bluish black and blood red with speckles. It seems like they're some kind of alien frogs. Not surprisingly, many people would like to pick up a couple of them, but you should never do that. It's the bright alien coloration that tells you that the frog is dangerous. Poison dart frogs are extremely poisonous creatures, which is obvious from their name. They're some of the most poisonous creatures on the entire planet. And according to some scientists, poison dart frogs are even the most toxic creatures on Earth. And no, these frogs don't bite like venomous snakes. They release their poison in a more insidious and cruel way, directly through the skin. Therefore, a person can get the most powerful poisoning by just taking such a frog in their hands and even touching it. And if the poison gets on the mucus, then the lethal outcome will be virtually guaranteed. After all, just one gram of some species of poison dart frogs can kill two huge elephants. Cane Toad And here's another amphibian you better stay away from. The cane toad is a neighbor of poison dart frogs. These amphibians are also found in Central and South America. Moreover, they can be found in Australia and some parts of Southeast Asia. The cane toad is far from tiny in contrast to poison dart frogs. It's the second largest toad in the world with a length of up to 24 centimeters and a weight of up to 1 kilogram. But more interesting is the poison of this amphibian. The cane toad is poisonous in all life stages. When an adult toad is disturbed, its glands secrete a milky white secret that contains powerful toxins. The cane toad poison is potent. It affects the heart and nervous system causing profuse salivation, convulsions, nausea, arrhythmia, and increased blood pressure. In some cases, the poison can paralyze the victim or even kill them. It's enough to contact with the glands for the poisoning. The aborigines of South America have known about the toad's terrible features. Many tribes use the amphibian's powerful poison to wet arrowheads. Pus Caterpillar The pus caterpillar is also known as a pus moth and woolly slug. It looks very cute, like a miniature fluffy animal, all because of the long hair-like bristles. In the early stage of development of the caterpillar, these bristles are strongly curly which gives its hair a very fluffy look. The caterpillar kind of begs to be petted but this should not be done. Even just touching the pus caterpillar is strictly not recommended, because the danger lies just in its bristles or, more precise, in its spines. They are venomous and easily broken so they remain in the wound after contact with the human skin. Contact with the caterpillar causes a throbbing pain that may extend to axilla. Red spots may appear at the site of contact as well. Other symptoms include headache, nausea, abdominal discomfort, and lymph node involvement. And in some cases, contact with the pus caterpillar can even result in respiratory failure. The pus caterpillar is a great example of deception of nature. Raccoon The internet is full of videos with hilarious antics of raccoons. Usually, in these videos, they get into all sorts of troubles – fail, contact with animals, or rinse something in a container of water. Raccoons are really cute and touching creatures, so you'd probably like to touch them, but you should not do this for several reasons. First, you shouldn't forget that the raccoon is a predatory creature, and any wild predator is potentially dangerous because of its unpredictable instincts. Second, the raccoon is not as friendly as it seems. It can easily show mad aggression if it thinks someone is a danger or threat to it. This is especially evident when fighting competitors for food. A raccoon can pounce on humans as well as cats and dogs. Third, raccoons are carriers of various diseases, including the extremely dangerous rabies. If a person tries to pet it, the cute raccoon may get angry, bite a person, passing them the terrible disease, as well as leave them a couple of severe cuts because raccoon claws are really sharp. Mm. Yeah.
in general, it's better to admire these beauties from a distance and never touch them. Many dangerous animals to stay away from can be found not only on land or in fresh water but also in the salty seas. There you can find the most beautiful starfish with very dangerous thorns or a tiny jellyfish capable of monstrous things. Stay tuned to know all the details and to see a couple of other dangerous animals that you should never touch. Let's move on. Irukandji Jellyfish The Irukandji jellyfish is a very unusual jellyfish. We like to believe that jellyfish are not the smallest sea creatures, but the Irukandji jellyfish is an exception to this rule. Its dome is about a couple of centimeters wide, but its tentacles are much larger than the dome. Anyway, the Irukandji jellyfish is a small jellyfish, so many people might want to touch it. This is a very bad idea. Despite its tiny size, the Irukandji jellyfish is very dangerous because of its venomous nature. The jellyfish poses a danger to humans. The bite of the jellyfish causes the syndrome of the same name, Irukandji. To say that this syndrome is unpleasant is an understatement because it manifests itself in a whole bunch of different symptoms. Nausea, pain all over the body, tachycardia, pulmonary edema are just some of the things a victim can get when confronted with the tiny jellyfish. The Irukandji jellyfish venom has a slow-acting property, so symptoms can take several days to appear. Most importantly, if left untreated, the victim may die. Crown of Thorns Starfish Starfish are very beautiful and amazing creatures. The Crown of Thorns starfish stands out among them because this starfish has a very bright coloration and unusual appearance. Particularly large individuals have a diameter of up to 50 centimeters and the starfish itself has up to 23 arms. Usually the starfish is colored by combinations of bright orange and purple which looks very graceful. You can look at this starfish for as long as you want, but you definitely shouldn't touch it. An impressed diver may not be confused even by the spikes, which are covered with the body of the starfish. However, it's in them that lies the danger. The spines are similar to needles and are equipped with venomous glands. The needle prick of this starfish is very painful and can cause serious poisoning, accompanied by rash, nausea, and inflammation. In some cases, the prick can lead to paralysis and death. So you should stay away from the crown of thorns starfish. King Cobra of course, it's unlikely that anyone would want to touch a king cobra, but still, someone might want to do it when the king cobra is quiet. Touching a resting king cobra for the sake of an experiment is certainly possible, but you definitely shouldn't do it. Neither should we forget that it's the largest venomous snake on the planet. On average, the length of a cobra is 3 to 4 meters, but sometimes it can exceed 5 meters. These snakes live in Southeast Asia, where along with them live many non-venomous pythons. Given that pythons are also very large, an uninformed person can confuse the python with a king cobra and accidentally touch the venomous monster. In this case, they risk pissing off the king cobra and getting a dose of powerful venom. Contrary to popular belief, the king cobra is not the most venomous snake on the planet. However, its venom is still very powerful. A single bite of this snake can kill a five-ton elephant in three hours and a human in 30 minutes. No wonder that even many professional tamers and trainers sometimes don't risk contact with the king cobra directly, preferring work with snake using a pole or a long stick. Personally, I find it hard to imagine that anyone would want to touch a large spider. But still, maybe there are those among you who are not afraid of these arthropods at all and study each of them if possible. If you're one of those, you should remember at least one spider that should not be touched under any circumstances. This is the Brazilian wandering spider. These arthropods can boast of 15 to 20 centimeter long legs and are extremely venomous. To make you understand, the Brazilian wandering spider is even listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most venomous spider on the planet. The arthropod received such a title in 2010. These creatures live in the tropical zone of South and Central America, as well as in the US, where they get in the luggage and cargo. Sensing a threat, the Brazilian wandering spider bites the offender and injects an extremely powerful venom. At best, it ends in pain, allergies, and visual impairment. At worst, it ends in paralysis, asphyxia, and death. Although scientists have invented an effective antidote to the venom of the spider, you shouldn't take chances and try to pick up this monster. This is an extremely dangerous creature. That's all, guys. What other dangerous animals do you think should never be touched either? 
Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.